Hey guys, what's up? Did you miss my content? If so, you're in luck, because you're getting a double upload today. Let me know, uh, hit that like button down below if, uh, if you did miss my content. If you didn't, uh, also let me know in the, in, the, uh, description, in the description, in the comments down below why you didn't miss my uploads. Uh, and then quickly, promptly hit the unsubscribe button, you pagans. No, I'm kidding. Anyway, guys, <laughs> we're back today for week nine of the GPC final week. As you guys know, we are already qualified for playoffs. Uh, this game is a battle of admins, and uh, it's me versus Gareth. We are two ad the only two active admins uh, in the GPC uh, that are also players. Rufus is also an admin, but he is not a, uh, a participating coach in the season. So uh, this is the battle of the admins right here. We waited until week nine for this. And uh, we're bringing memes, ladies and gentlemen. We we are bringing straight memes. Wait till you see Gareth's team. I'm not very good with memes because I wasn't brought up in the uh, in the meme uh, era, I guess you could say. But Gareth knows what he's doing when it comes to these. I have three mons that are absolutely memes. They're the three on the left, and then the three on the right are actually real sets. So let's get right into it. Let's see what happened. I'll explain the sets as we go along. So. He's going to lead off with Evire. I'm going to lead off with Gorgeist. I see that he's light clay, so I'm no I know he's going to set up screens. So I'm just going to go for Will-O-Wisp right here. Burn this Evire, make it not so much of a threat. And uh, then I'm going to go for the Seed Bomb, I believe, on the next turn as he sets up a light screen. Now I expect him to switch out, not being able to hit my Gorgeist. So I'm going to throw out another Will-O-Wisp. But unfortunately, he switches into... He Volt switches into the only thing that can take Will-O-Wisp, Arcanine. <laughs> so... Very unfortunate right there. We are not going to be able to burn this thing, of course. So I'm going to get right out of here, and I'm going to go straight into my Blastoise on this turn. I know that he can Wild Charge me, but I am physically defensive. He goes for Agility, and I'm like, okay, what's this thing going to do to me? Uh, I go for a Toxic to wear it down, and he goes for a Solar Beam, but it's not a, a, a Power Herb Solar Beam, so I'm like, okay, that's not so bad. I can just switch into Rachi here and uh, take this Solar Beam quite well. Uh, I am specially defensive, so I take that like nothing. And now he's going to take another round of Toxic. Here I considered uh, switching back out into Blastoise on a Fire-type attack. But I was like, you know what? Let me get up my rocks. Uh, get them up early because there's a Dodrio back there. This Arcanine is going to switch back in at some point. His Gardevoir looks annoying. That's a Mega Gardevoir, by the way, guys. So I am going to get up my rocks. And I'm going to take a ton from Fire Blast. I wasn't expecting to, to take that much. I also wasn't expecting him to be faster than me. But, of course, he is under Agility. So that makes sense. Uh, in retrospect, I probably should have set up my own light screen here. I am also light clay uh, with reflect and light screen. Had I set up the light screen, I would have been good to go to get my full setup and win the game. But unfortunately, that's not what happens. So I have to switch out here and go right back out into Blastoise on his Fire Blast, which I take quite well, only take 25%. And uh, now I can throw out a Scald. As I said, this is one of my real mons. So I'm just going to throw out a Scald right here. He's going to go for the Solar Beam, but it has to charge up for a turn. Combination of Scald plus Toxic is going to be able to take him out. He does get a Pattaya Berry boost, so I was kind of scared of that. Uh, but he does go down to the Toxic. And now he's going to bring in his Gardevoir. And I'm thinking, okay, this thing is not a normal Gardevoir from what I've seen. He traces my Torrent, not a big deal. I'm just going to go for a Toxic right here because I want to wear this thing down. And he throws up a Wish. And I'm like, okay, he probably has Heal Bell on this thing, right? Let me throw out a Scald. Maybe I can get a Burn. That would be fine too. Uh, he does go for Heal Bell. Heals up back to full after I Scald him. And uh, I do not get a burn, unfortunately, but it's fine. Uh, I'm thinking this is physical Gardevoir at this point. Yes. Yes, I said physical Gardevoir, guys. He goes for a return. Confirming. He gets a crit. Not a big deal. I'm going to Toxic again. And here what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to throw out another Toxic, I believe, on this turn. Or actually, no, I switch into Gorgeist, predicting him to just attack again uh, rather than going for Heal Bell. And he actually goes out into Gigalith. And right here, I frisk a Choice Scarf. And I didn't even notice that he had a Choice Scarf until this moment. Um, or until after the game, actually, because I, I really wasn't paying that much attention. But he is going to go into Gigalith. I am going to be able to get off a burn on this thing with a Will-O-Wisp. He goes for Stone Edge. That is fine. Uh, I'm able to burn this thing so it's not doing as much damage. And now I'm going to go for the Synthesis. Even though I am in Sand, I still want to remain decently healthy, as he's actually going to switch out here into his Sand Slash, which was uh, uh, interesting of a play, I would say. Uh, but I am going to get off the Synthesis. And <laughs> this Sand Slash right here, ladies and gentlemen... Uh, goes for a Hidden Power, hits me super effectively, but I'm like, okay, that did no damage, that's fine. It's Hidden Power Fire, but I'm going to get off a Seed Bomb, and he's Weakness Policy. And right here, I was terrified, because, again, I hadn't noticed the Choice Scarf on the Gigalith, and um, 
I thought that he was possibly smooth rock and that I was about to get swept. So I was panicking at this point. But uh, I'm going to switch out my Gorgeist into my Blastoise. He's going to go for an Earth Power. It's going to do a lot of damage. And here I expect him to overpredict. So I'm actually just going to throw out a Scald as he does end up going for a Hidden Power Fire. Does not knock me out even with plus two. And I am going to knock out his Sand Slash. Threat averted. We are okay, ladies, guys. We are... Why do, why do I keep saying ladies and gentlemen? Guys, we are okay. He goes into Dodrio, and now he's going to set up an Acupressure, and I'm like, oh no, he gets plus speed, but I go for a Scald, and I get a burn, so that's the end of Dodrio's life right there, uh, as it will not be able to do anything to me from this point on. And uh, I was in Torrent right there. He goes for a Thrash, doesn't knock me out because of the burn, and uh, I am going to get off a Zen Headbutt. Now, let me explain this. My opponent has a Toxic Croak on their team, and it completely walls Blastoise because I'm Toxic, Scald, uh, I Rapid Spin, and... Um, and Zen Headbutt, so I needed Zen Headbutt to be able to hit the Toxic Croak for super effective. And with my investment, it actually Okos from full. So uh, I am going to get back a little bit of uh, recovery right there. His Gardevoir comes back in. Now I'm just going to go for a Toxic on this turn, as he is going to go for the Heal Bell. So I'm going to Toxic him again. And uh, now I do expect him to just attack on this turn rather than going for Heal Bell or even go for a Wish. Uh, but I'm going to sack off my Blastoise, no need to keep it around. The reason I sacked it was because now the fun starts, guys. Now I can go into Lopany. And Lopany in this game is a very interesting set. Uh, I needed a way to get a certain set going. And Lopany is the way to do it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to Cosmic Power. I'm actually not running that much speed on this thing. Uh, enough to outspeed Mega Gardevoir, but only if I'm Mega Evolved. And he was not running enough speed to outspeed that. So uh, he's going to go for a return. He's actually going to get a crit on this turn. And I'm thinking, okay, well, if that's a crit, then I can definitely take the next one. So I'm actually going to go for a workup on this turn. And he's going to go for a uh, Will-O-Wisp and burn me. And I'm like, okay, that's, that's perfectly fine. Uh, now I'm going to Baton Pass this boost these boosts into Zygarde and Zygarde's gonna take a return just fine thanks to that plus one defense and now his Gardevoir is gonna go down I was actually hoping that it would live this turn because I wanted to get off an attack uh, a certain setup move uh, being Dragon Dance because I wanted to be faster than this thing and his Evire uh, I am gonna get off the Dragon Dance right here but uh, and Choice Scarf Gigalith apparently didn't outspeed me but he goes for an explosion doesn't knock me out so that's fine and now finally Finally, guys, I've been waiting for this moment all season. We brought special Zygarde, so we're going to fire off an Earth Power and guarantee that Zygarde ends up the kill leader after the regular season. So, 21 kills for Zygarde, I believe 3 deaths over the entirety of the season. This thing is incredible, guys. Uh, I regret helping uh, price it because we priced it at 14 points. That was a big mistake because this thing is worth a lot more now that it has thousand arrows. <laughs> and uh, obviously this was a meme set. I was Dragon Pulse, Sludge Wave, Earth Power, and Dragon Dance. I was banking on the fact that I would be able to get up screens with Rachi, uh, go into my Lopany, set up workups and uh, substitutes and cosmic powers, and then eventually Baton Pass into my Zygarde with a bunch of boosts, go for the Dragon Dance, outspeed his entire team, and just knock everything out with the combination of those... Uh, uh, of that coverage, essentially. Uh, plus two, Dragon Pulse knocked out Dodrio without even rocks up. Uh, plus two, Earth Power knocks out Arcanine, knocks out the Evire, the uh, Gigalith. Gardevoir was going down to Sludge Wave as long as it wasn't fully invested in HP, uh, especially with rocks up, and then Sand Slash was dead. So that was the idea of this set. Unfortunately, it only got one kill. Could have easily gotten six if I set it up correctly, but uh, such is the game. Uh, that was a great game, honestly. Thank you so much, Gareth, for memeing with me. Uh, it was really fun. Got a little bit outdone, but uh, yeah, no, this. Uh, I'm so happy that this season went the way that it went, honestly. Uh, it's not over yet. We still have to play through playoffs, and if I can get that championship, my very first championship, I would be so happy, but uh, I don't know if that's going to happen because we have a, a couple of huge players in the way in Ethan and Zazo, both of which we lost to uh, this season. There are my only two losses, and I potentially have to face them again. Paul could beat Zazo. Uh, it could happen. Uh, and I would be much happier facing Paul than Iron Flash Gaming. Uh, but at first, I have to get through Ethan. That would be the uh, that would be the most important thing first. Would be to get through Ethan. So that is going to wrap it up, guys. If you did enjoy this uh, nine-week season of the GPC, it lasted ten weeks technically because we had a break week then make sure to hit that like button down below for me. Subscribe if you haven't already. 
And uh, thank you guys so much for your support. Be looking out for that second upload later today, and I will catch you guys later. Ciao.